Hey, Eastern Oregon, welcome to this July 5th version of AM Live on EOA, your connection to Eastern Oregon. Hey. What's up? How are you, man? It's uh, second Monday. Well, second. it's actually like kind of like first Monday, but we worked yesterday. <laughs> I know. So it's, it is second Monday, really. Yeah. What a, and I was just saying to this, like, we're halfway through the year. I just, how did we get here? You know, just like we were talking about the other day, the older you get, the faster in time. <laughs> it's terrible. Man. I know. It's like, it's terrible. Yeah. You, old people talk about weather and how fast time goes. And here we are. I'll never be like sit at home all day and watch CNN old, though. <clears throat> I hope not. No. My parents have news on at their house all the time. It's yeah. either Padres. The classic rock station, you know, on cable, you know, yeah. those music stations. Yeah. Uh -huh. Padres, classic rock, or news. Except for on Sundays. And my mom turns the TV completely off and puts and plays three records huh. on Sundays. Three particular records? or No, just, just she three picks three ones. records, it's, yeah. It's just kind of her... That's her Sunday That's thing. her Sunday thing. Yep. Yep. Uh. yep. Yeah. Dana, what's up? Dana's off today. Is he? Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah, because he will. <laughs> <laughs> Did you decide what you're going to do today, Dana? Yeah. Anything fun? Yeah. He had, a, he had a big day yesterday. So last night was thunder at the peak. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. There's yeah. a lot of people there. The course looks so good, too. Oh, yeah. here. I yeah, got a picture. picture. Yeah. yeah, I think you had one. Like... I took a picture. Yeah. The course looks so good right now. Look wow. At that. It's just beautiful. See, I love, I love the, I love the, I mean, a photographer looks at the shadows, not the light. And it's so funny. And because the shadows just show all of that. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. All of that. And then it's last so night, cool. late at night, this was after dark. And for some reason the, the flag was lit up. So yeah. it looks like it might be like dusk almost, but no, this was, it was dark when yeah. I took this picture. Yeah. And that was like right by where they talk and did their, yeah, little spiel last night. It was it, the course is gorgeous. The fireworks were awesome. It was just a, it was great. It was a, it was a really good day. How did they? How did I mean they were trying to have vendors and stuff downtown? And yeah, they did. Stuff did that was yeah. Yeah, I, I ran into Donna down there and talked with her for a bit, and uh, they had like a block and a half or two blocks shut down on right, on the main right. road there. And then they had like kettle corn, they had shaved ice, they had a bunch of stuff for sale. And then down by the little park, they had a burger place. They had, there was just, there, there was quite a few people. Donna said that for the reenactment, the, the robbery reenactment, oh, yeah, there was yeah. about five, 600 people there. Really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So we didn't make it for that, though. So we, which which bank got robbed, you know? I don't know. Whatever. Or the what banking they... union. I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I mean, I, they just did a reenactment and they had like, I guess they had like, you know, like, what, what are those guns that you stuff the ball in the, whatever those are. Yeah. Like, muskets muskets or whatever, yeah. yeah. So it must have been a really old robbery. I think it was. They said, yeah. City of Union was a winner yesterday. Yeah, it was good. They they did a good job. There was a lot of people out there. Um, I saw Wade out there. I went Wade and his family and uh, a lot of people. I saw yeah. That's yeah, true. I got too. a lot of randoms yesterday coming up to me too. People just like hey, yeah. I watched your show with Cody. I watched the morning show. I'm just like, yeah. I've 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 been getting that too, worried. which is really good because you. Uh, I don't know. We don't, you know, we don't hear much sometimes. I mean, we hear when people don't agree with us, uh, but it's, it's really nice when people come up to us and like say, Hey, uh, we watch your stuff and we appreciate what you do and give us feedback. You know, the one thing I don't know, which we really should gather is how they, how they get our content. You know, do they watch us on yeah. So Dana, how do you watch? Do you, are you watching on Facebook or on Roku? Or? He's watching on Facebook. He's commenting on oh, Facebook. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But like, <laughs> but in the past, well, we'll see. Anyhow, that that you know, how how do they get our con to it? I see you're you're different than me because I mean, while I appreciate it, I don't really like it. 
I don't really like people. I don't really like. No, people. I don't. Uh, uh, uh. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't like the personal attention, but I like me the either. feedback. Yeah. I like. I like knowing that there are that people appreciate. I mean, it's from a business standpoint. I just. Yeah. I just want to know. Like, if I'm with with somebody outside of work, you know, like yeah. some, a, a friend or whatever, it's really like it's really intimidating. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or embarrassing. I don't yeah. know. It's like, it's just. Yeah. 1908 was when the bank was robbed. Yeah. Dana, weren't you born right around then? 1908? So, black powder. But what I don't understand is like the, I mean, they had, you know, I mean, they had regular bullets and I don't know if it's not black powder, it's a, I mean, it's like a gun that we have today that has a bullet and a shell and so on and so forth. So I wonder, I mean, so robbing a bank in 1908 with a black powder rifle would be like, you know, robbing a bank with a bow and arrow now. It'd be a little bit different. I don't know. So mm. it's all right. I never robbed a bank yet. Yeah. No, but what I was going to say was it's so funny because, yeah, I mean, you're really, I think you're really kind of an introvert. Would you say that? No. Well, with people that I know, I'm very outgoing. Right, right. But and that's like, what I was going to say. I just yeah. don't really like the, the, I don't like, I, I mean, I don't, I guess it would be like the, just people that I don't know. Right, it's right. It's just okay, weird. Okay, like, okay, I'll get because that. Because with people that I know, I'm, I am mean, if you see me now at the poker room, no, I, I'm blabbering the whole time. Or, you know what I no, mean? No, I like, know. And that's what's funny. That's what's a little puzzling to me. It's just people I don't know. Like if I go to like the store, yeah, I'm I'm not going there to talk for you know what I mean. Like I'm going right. to get some groceries, right? But it always ends up being a, a, a I hate going to the store because <laughs> there's always you know what I mean. Yeah. If it's not somebody I do know, then it's somebody that I don't know. You know what I mean? And they just yeah, and then just there with sports like with sports that there's there's no attention on. Like when I'm out taking pictures or whatever, right. I love watching, that. Yeah, they're, they're watching, watching the game. Else. Yeah, yeah, they aren't they aren't watching me take pictures. Yeah, that's why I, I think I really like that because I don't have to talk with it, but I do end up having you know right. it, it it it's not horrible. It's just it it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you want to talk about sports? Yeah, there's not much to talk about. Should we put up the? Yeah. Army National Guard recruiting retention. Sergeant First Class Lori McNeil, if you have any questions about recruiting and retention for the Army National Guard, she's your lady. Give her a call, 541-786-1459. Her email's right there as well. Sports. Uh, the Legion team, I mean, I got uh, information from Chachis on the 18U team. They ended up losing on Sunday night. Um if they would have won Sunday night, this is the Spokane Wood Bat Tournament. If they would have won Sunday night, they would have played yesterday for the championship, and they lost uh, Sunday night, unfortunately. But that, that it, you know, it is what it is. This next weekend, they're off, and then the weekend after that. So what would that be? The seventeenth, right? Seventeenth, right around there. Um, they have a home tournament. Cool. So it's the last home games of the year for baseball. And that's the only sports that are really going on right now. I mean, Legion Baseball. Little League, I mean, we have a couple teams that qualified. The the um, the girls juniors and the boys juniors are both going to play in the state tournament. They both won their district. Um, but besides for that, there's not a lot going on sports-wise, which is good because that gives me some time to really focus on getting ready for – the big thing that's coming up in a month of Shrine Game. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't tell you. I hired somebody for that. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hired Brenna uh, Strand to take pictures. Oh. Because we aren't going to have anybody there to take pictures. And if I have to, I'll just pay her. But I, she's really good at taking pictures. Good. And she's amateur, but she's, yeah, I, I talked to her and I was like, come come to Baker and we'll pay you to take pictures because we need somebody there taking pictures. Cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Good. That's really it for sports. I mean, there's, like I said, the Shrine game. I'm super excited about that. It's just, it's one month away, one month from tomorrow. It's coming in us like crazy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's go to, it's grind time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a month to get yeah. ready for that. Easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, well, let's let's look at the weather out there. See what and uh, do you have Gabe's uh, today? I'm the sports guy, the weather guy. Yeah. Scattered showers today develop with isolated storms in the afternoon. Otherwise, partly sunny. Skies are expected to be with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Southeasterly winds 1 to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwesterly in the afternoon with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. You you read that <laughs> with gusto. <laughs> I had to, I mean, I had to do it with a little swag, like, hey, just try, <laughs> you know, like, just just to try to give them a little, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully our weatherman will be back soon. Yeah. So he's been ill and we'll be anxious to have him back. Uh, so let me, uh, this, this Saturday is from the ground up. It's a Grand Ron Hospital Foundation event at the fairgrounds. And here's a little bit of it. Oh, hi there. I'm Patrick Flynn with the Grand Ronde Hospital Foundation, and I am planning the next big fundraising event for the foundation projects. Now, normally we would get all dressed up and have a nice formal evening with a great meal and entertainment and hear about the latest projects that the foundation has in store. But we're not doing that this year. We're doing something different. We're going to the fairgrounds. <laughs> So join us on Saturday, July 9th at 6 p.m. from the ground up at the Union County Fairgrounds for our next fundraising event. We've got mobile food trucks and cornhole and ladder ball, axe throwing and dueling DJ. And if that's not enough for you, we've got a golden ticket raffle. Golden ticket? I'm not convinced. You want more? Well, we've got an exclusive first look at the biggest project in the What is the biggest project? Just tell me. Well, just buy your tickets and come on out on July 9th at 6 p.m. Tickets are on sale now. So that's this Saturday. Um, what's it? Starting at 6 o'clock, I think. I, I'm sorry, I missed the time there. But uh be sure and check that out yeah it's six o'clock and you can get tickets on the foundation website grand round hospital and i think it's going to be that's going to be a cool event we had a we had a great conversation with uh patrick pat on uh <laughs> he goes by pat now he goes by no, pat he goes now. by patrick he goes by patrick goes by now patrick. yeah that's yeah, right that's like his professional name yeah <laughs> I think it's, I always think it's funny when people like, as they mature, they they feel like like maybe they. But but it, you would think it would be opposite, right? Yeah. Patrick as a kid and then Pat as an adult, but no, it's Pat yeah. and then Patrick. Well, you know, Brady, my son, yeah, he goes. I mean, I think he goes by Braden as an adult. He does. Yeah. I've never heard him called that before. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah you guys don't you, call him that. You don't know him. Yeah, we don't call him that. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah I, I need an I need an adult name. Maybe well, we no, we we came up, up with a Kyle. Kylito. Kylito. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll think like I'm like a car, cartel member. Or something. Kylito. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So I no, I think you should have like a <laughs> like I said, you have like a a mafia so or a pimp outfit that goes with the. <laughs> Kylie, Kylie Doe, yeah. The character, yeah. That's the, that's the mature version of it. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. A, a hat with a big feather and a uh, uh, an animal skin robe, you know, or yeah. Maybe one day I'll show up for the morning show. Like that. <laughs> I can't, I can't Kylie dress Doe. up like that though, because you can't ever find even at a thrift store. You can't ever find anything my size. It's not. <laughs> you can't just go in and get it. Like that's why I never dress up for Halloween. Like yeah, it's like what am I gonna do? Like go in the thrift store and get an extra large shirt? Yeah, something. something put it on my arm. Something you can build with a tarp. Right? That's what you. Yeah. <laughs> something. No. Yeah, and I'm not much smaller than you. Uh, kind of bums me out because I I would love to dress up more for like, you know, Halloween. Yeah. Or, you know, but there's not really a lot of opportunities there. Yeah. I mean, I've done it a few times, but. So did you do anything fun yesterday other than the, no. go out to the. No, I worked, I worked a ton last week, like between 
both places. I, I was supposed to have this weekend off at the card room. Uh huh. I covered. I worked Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and then I I, I dealt a tournament Sunday and a cash game. So so I dealt from like one until one on Sunday. So I was exhausted yesterday. Wow. And I slept until about. I'm not gonna lie, until like one almost. Yesterday. Yeah. 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 I was just kind of recovering. Yeah. yeah. And then I just hung out, talked to my kids, and then walked down here. Yeah, we did the thing. Rolled out with Benny, and we went down. We went out there at about. We left here about five thirty ish, and we went up. Dana gave us a golf cart. It, it was awesome, dude. We got to drive the golf cart all around Union. It was pretty fun. Oh, cool! Yeah, That's we were fun. VIP. Everybody's like, "Where's it? Wade?" Was like, "How do you like?" I was like, "I got connect." I was like. <laughs> I was like, I got connections, dude. Yeah. So we drove down there and we roamed around, filmed, um, got some food, got some kettle corn, went back up, um, got the equipment all set up, and then went and just visited people and, you know, took some pictures. And then it was by the time that it was go time. Yeah. And we just got it done and then getting out of there. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Were the, were the mosquitoes bad? I got bit a few times. Yeah. The 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 girl at the golf shop, I'm terrible about names. Dana, what's her name? Um, she offered me bug spray, and I'm like, no, I'll be fine. And then, of course, yeah. Then yeah. when you're up there later, it's like, up, yeah. yeah. And then we, last year, it was funny, last year, there was this ground squirrel up there. Oh, that's right. And yeah. it was like bloody, like it, 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 it was hoarded. like on its last leg. Yeah. yeah. And then this year... We're going down the hill, and there's these little birds running in front of us, and they're like babies. Like I, I got out, I could have reached down and picked it up. Like yeah. they couldn't fly. Yeah, some just weird animal. They weren't the little the the little grouses. No, they they weren't grouse. Yeah, they they were just I don't know what they were. We did see some quail, but but the mom was like circling and landing and circling and landing. Like I thought she was gonna come after. <laughs> She's only a little bird, like yeah. this big, but it still would have freaked me out. Yeah, my uh, my grandma. Okay, so there's two things grandma did not do. Grandma did not do boats first off. Okay, and then grandma did not do birds. Grandma hated birds. Now this is grandma on whose side? My mom's mom. Okay. Well, I was I'm the oldest, so like I boats was, and birds. Yeah, I'm the oldest, so I was like favorite grandkid, obviously. Yeah. And and my aunt doesn't have any kids, so I got my we went to Disneyland, right? And I got grandma to go on It's a Small World with me, which <laughs> requires her to get in a boat. Okay, right. And then we're sitting out in front of the out somewhere like one of the tables, and a dang bird landed in her hair the same day. Oh my goodness! And she freaked out. She left. She left us there. It's like that's she it. left grandma and me and my brother there. It's like she I'm done. Gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Birds and boats, and she got them both in one day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she hated birds. She loved turtles, though. She collected like turtles. She had thousands of turtles. So you don't, you don't do heights. No. And was there, is there anything else that is like you're like no I'm done I can't do that. Just heights, really. Yeah. I think I, mean, I, I don't. I like the ocean. I love the water. I just don't like being up high. Like, I went to Cape Perpetua one time. I don't know if you've been there on the mm -mm. coast. Mm -mm. It's just a, a, it's a cape. It's, yeah. Uh, I think it's just outside of Newport, Lincoln City. Um, it's by Thor's Well. And I got, like, 10 feet from the edge, and I started getting dizzy. Mm -hmm. Got the wah -wah, I was like, I'm staying here. <laughs> you yeah. guys, I'll take pictures from here. Like, yeah. <laughs> we're good. So I don't like the bridges in Portland. Mm -mm. I watched a video yesterday of a guy who he was skydiving. I think it was, I think he was skydiving from a hot air balloon. Oh no way. Yeah. And it, it is so, it's so he's, and he's hanging on to a ledge and he's talking to, he's talking to the guy who uh, is taking the video and he goes like, all right, is it framed everything, everything good. And, you know, so he's like concerned about the photography end of it, you know, and like, all right, we'll see you guys later. And then he, and then he just lets go and falls, you know, and of course you can, I mean, you know, they were several thousand feet up, but it looked, it looked so much like a special effect, but it was just real. I mean, he just, he dropped, 
the camera didn't zoom in or anything or follow him. He just dropped, I mean, until you, he was so small, you couldn't tell him. But, but anyhow, I thought about you. It was like, even you watching that video would probably would like give you the heebie-jeebies. It probably would. Yeah. Morning, Justin. What's up? JB? Yeah. Dana, where are you hiding at today? Yeah. Hey, JB, thanks for sponsoring last night the, yep. the fireworks it. thing. Yep. It was fun. Good uh, stuff. Yeah. I was telling you earlier, like, Benny, having Benny's like having a little brother out there. I just want to smack him around sometimes. But it's all right. He gets, <laughs> he he knows, Benny, you know, he knows. He's in there listening right now. <laughs> yeah. You, he is like a little brother. I mean, he's, he's, he's younger than my siblings, actually. Way younger. Well, yeah. But, man, he started, he started working for us when he was 15. 13, 14, how old were you, Benny, when you started? It's like 15. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's been 16. He's been with us a long time. So he's yeah. nice to have though. It's nice to not have to do things by yourself. Like because I mean that would have been a real hassle to do. Just one person. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have been fun. Well, and that's kind of that's kind of how things have changed for us over the I mean it used to be that was, yeah, when I did it, it was one person one person and you're doing the graphics and you're doing everything and and yeah we're, we're kind of as we go on we're expanding a little bit because you guys were <clears throat> benny was with you filming and streaming and then i was uh putting the graphics up at home so yeah. i told benny I, I told benny i was like bc sitting in there in his tidy white he's telling you how to operate the camera <laughs> Then it was cracking up. I had him cracking up over there. Yeah. Because I was sitting back taking pictures and putting them on Instagram and videos and just, uh, and, and I'm just, of course, I'm commentating. You know, yeah. Like giving Bennett a bunch of, giving him a load of crap like normal. <laughs> <clears throat> he probably hates me, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I wasn't in my tidy whities <laughs> I, I actually he said, had, what's he doing taking a nap at nine o'clock yeah well i had i had it was because i was up until one editing oh, working on that uh, working on a grand ron hospital project that's due this friday this saturday so yeah there's a lot of people out there there's a lot of uh traffic um the union county search and rescue volunteered um that there's no issues either. I mean, it's very family friendly. It was cool. You know, I think it's totally awesome that they are, they've figured out a way to create an event for themselves. You know, I mean, I think that every, every town, La Grande has been fortunate because it's the biggest town in the area and, and, but every town needs a thing, you mm -hmm. know, they need a, yeah, that, uh, they need an identity piece. Yeah. yeah. And that's awesome. Next year, Dana's talking about having a band. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, because Wayside Kings used to perform up at the college for the for, for the, the fourth. Uh, yeah, fourth that's of right. July. And a band would be spectacular. And then you know, like I, me personally, I would like to see some vendors up in the parking lot up by by closer to the golf course, like where. You don't have to go down into town to get something to drink or something to eat because yeah. the pro shop's not open. You can't have that open. There's no way. Yeah. With that many people trying to watch that play, you know what I mean? Yeah. It would just be, but there could be like some vendors up top. Like food trucks or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Or, you know, like a, a iced tea stand or lemonade or, you know yeah. what I mean? Like there, there would and and then live music would be cool too. Yeah, it would be, and then it would just be a, a portable coffee cart. Yeah, that would be that would work. Too. You know that did you know that did coffee? You can make and, a killing them. Oh man, you can make a killing. You really can't. Maybe I, that's what we should do. You there are forget the, about streaming. Me and Benny can be broistas. <laughs> Carlito in the broista. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's like I've always, I've always wanted a coffee shop. I've always wanted a, a, a coffee truck or something. Not me. I don't like coffee, so. Well, but I mean, a, it, not coffee's just. Yeah. Yeah. All anything. kinds of. Yeah. Drinks. Yeah. Whatever it might be. It, they sm coffee shops always smell good. Yeah. I like the smell of coffee. I don't like the taste of it. Yeah. It's bitter to me. 
But so do you and like? I tried expensive. So do coffee. you like sodas and? I like diet soda. See, coffee is coffee for me, and I understand is a little bit like beer. You gotta you gotta get used to it. You know, yeah. you gotta uh, is something that you gotta get. To, you know, but yeah, it's funny it's an when acquired I, taste. Though. Yeah, it's and I, I did at Beer Fest. I did find a couple of beers. Is like. Hmm, I actually like this. I didn't even know you drink beer. I've I never seen. I mean, I've never been in a yeah. situation where. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That beer fest was pretty fun too. It was. It was a very. It he's, was. He's, he's, he's just that guy. That was a. That was a. I mean, it was a successful event. He only embarrassed me one time the whole weekend, which was good because oh, usually Johnny? it's way more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were like. There's some some ladies that i'd never met before and of course he goes into this spiel about how i was play, you know like the baseball thing and i'm just like johnny shut up like stop <laughs> like, i'm thinking like shut up dude yeah and, and i told him i was like we were at tap that before we went to the beer. i was like hey we have one goal today and he was like what and i go just don't piss off share please like just, that's your only goal for today and he, and he listened he did, he, yeah. He, he did good. <laughs> it's like that's like another little brother, right? Yeah, there. yeah. And the first thing he asked Benny, Benny, if you had to remember, what was me and Dodsey's greatest fight in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm poor Benny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't. Yeah, I him. don't. I don't think I know. I mean, I couldn't hear you guys well enough <laughs> oh, to God. give a topic to your fights. <laughs> But I, there I, do, plenty I, of them. I do remember saying, like, you guys are like an old married couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it wasn't, it never was like anything other than just like pushing each other. So that's, that's all it was. Yeah. Like, I, Johnny, Johnny, like, if, if he doesn't have that catalyst, he's, he's okay with coasting. Yeah. Which is why he stayed. I mean, he could have been gone out of Lagram way sooner. Yeah, but that's where I was just like pounding, like pounding us both, and just yeah. trying to make things better because yeah. like we we had no idea what we were doing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We just jumped into something. No, I well, do. You know, I learned. I did. I did. I did. When like you, two yeah, weeks. the very first time we, the ah. very first time we talked, and I was like. You have no idea how complicated this is. Yeah. 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 Was, yeah. So. So it was stressful. And on top of that, just learning new stuff and trying to figure out, you know, and pushing each other. And that's what we've always done. And yeah. We've always had the kind of relationship where it's like, dude, we can do this better somehow. And yeah. the way we get there is through. No, but I mean, I've said this many times, the key to you and Johnny, I mean, Johnny has immense talent without any doubt whatsoever yep. but you coming as his producer i mean made it pop had hit said had johnny just showed up in my studio by himself and be like i don't have the time right or to, the, yeah. yeah yeah i mean you know and he i mean he needed you he needed and i he, had no idea whatsoever about video production right none i mean right. i could run a board right but. right but 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 still you were dedicated enough to learn it and we had, a, we had and, fun. Yeah. We had fun. No, it was. We were loud. <laughs> Poor Bennett. <laughs> yeah. When I think about that, when Johnny said that, I was just like, oh, poor Bennett. We subjected you to some stuff he'd never seen before. Or heard. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's ever going to be the same. We had. We, I don't think we, any of us are ever going to be the we same. We had a, a Johnny Marvel to eat a habanero oh, I remember. on air. Yeah. See, and he talked it see, out. I remember the very first show that you guys did. There, you had, there was a guy who had bit through his lip, or he had. I think it was a boxing match or whatever. Oh and, yeah, and we yeah. showed the picture. And you, you left it up. You left yeah. it up behind. I mean, you left it up yeah, for like it was Alistair ten Overing. minutes. Yeah, and it was like, the background. And I'm like thinking, oh lord. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> we got Bubba to eat a hot pepper on on there. Ronald Bond. Yeah, we pulled the prank on Big Five. Oh gosh, you know, it was just it was just a step. I mean, I mean, you guys are talented, but but still, the the whole production was just like it was like mom's basement with cameras a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 We pranked Big Five one time. 
I remember. And I had I had to go, drive down there the next day and, and I apologize. Her, yeah. Uh, yeah, I brought her like gift certificates, golfing voucher. I, I was just like, I'm so sorry. Like I felt horrible. I was just like, gosh. I can't find that show, by the way. I was trying to find it to show it to Benny because Benny's never seen it. <laughs> but we we yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. Did yeah. you call without going into the detail, you yeah. you made a phone call. It wasn't call. me. I did all I did was Johnny, dial the number. Johnny made a phone call yes. and 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 asked some yes. embarrassing questions, right? Yes. yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was not. It, but I mean we it, had was, fun. it was a little bit of like what shock jocks do in yeah, big cities. It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think we were boring people. Yeah. Yep. Ready to get out of here? Yeah, I think Probably so. Time. Where's my list at? There it is. On this day, which is July 5th, 1937, Spam was introduced to the market by the Hormel Foods Corporation. I don't like Spam. But I do like spam masubi, which oh, is spam. like, which is like a pe- you cut a piece of spam, yeah, you put it on sticky rice and you wrap it in seaweed, yeah. Oh man! See, when you said spam at first, I'm like, um, uh, like I was thinking email? like email spam, no, yeah, no, no, like the the yeah. no, processed. I'm, no, I'm with you. Meat, yeah. I don't like it by itself. Yeah. 1946, Louis Rear's design for a bikini swimsuit debuted. At the Paris Fashion Show, 1946. Wow. 1950, you, on this day, U.S. forces enter combat in the Korean War for the first time in the Battle of Osan. 1989, on this day, Seinfeld screens its pilot episode starring Jerry Seinfeld, Jason Alexander, Julie, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Michael Richards on NBC. And then 2021, on this day, one of the world's oldest pieces of art, a 51,000-year-old deer bone carved by Neanderthals was discovered in the Hartz Mountains in Germany. 51,000 years old. That's wow. crazy. A yeah. carved deer bone. How do they know that? How do they know it's 51,000 years old? Carbon yeah. dating? I, well, that's what they say, but yeah. It's, yeah I mean, like, yeah. are they just guessing? Uh-uh. Yeah. I don't know. All right, the number one movie in 2012 on this day mm-hmm. is Ted with Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> that movie is highly inappropriate. Is it? Oh, it's so oh funny. yes, that's right. I it's remember. so funny. Yeah, they have they smoke the, weed the, and the, the bear, the bear yeah, can the, say things yeah, that, yeah, yeah the that's right. bear is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then the quote for the day. Don't base your decisions on the advice of those who don't have to deal with the results. Boy, that's... Don't base your decisions on the advice of those who don't have to deal with the results. Boom. Boom. We're okay. out of here till Thursday. All right. Thank you, guys. See you soon.